MMA fighter and professional Fighters League welterweight champion John Fitch conducted training seminars on island. He sports a 37-1-1 record and is on a four-fight win streak, most recently earning a second-round submission win against Brian Foster in the Professional Fighters League. Some notable wins have been against Jake Shields, Yushin Okami, Thiago Alves, and Diego Sanchez. He has also fought Damian Maya, Johnny Hendricks, BJ Penn, and George St. Pierre. Fitch held a wrestling training session recently at Still Athletics. These kids are probably, probably pretty decent wrestlers. Um, they, they, they pick up the drills and, and are doing everything pretty smoothly. You know, I know guys that, that, that didn't learn how to drill until they got into college. You want success, you got to drill. And um, you, want, you, want, you want to be a champion in the wintertime, you got to wrestle in the summertime. Girls High School Volleyball from Academy, the Cougars look to return the favor and beat the Notre Dame Royals at home. ND beat Academy in their last meeting earlier in the season. The Cougars took the first set 25-21. The top seed visiting squad Royals took advantage of the home team's mistakes in the second set to even the match 25-21. With the game on the line in the third and final set, Academy was able to build a cushion for themselves and take a 20-16 lead. ND didn't go away without a fight, scoring four points before their luck ran out. The home team pulled off the three-set win 25-20. The Cougars finished the regular season in third in the Goddard Division. GW finished second and ND in first. In the Tossie Division, St. John sits in first, followed by JFK and St. Paul. FD wrapped up regular season play in the IFL, undefeated along with the longest win streak in high school football with 27 straight victories. The record was previously set by the GW Geckos with 26. The Friars beat GW 32-0 to lock up the number one seed heading into the playoffs. Running back DeAndre Cruz, the workhorse on the ground rushing for over 100 yards with two touchdowns. FD will look to improve to 8-0 on the season when they take to the field against the Southern High Dolphins this Friday at 7 p.m. The Guam High Panthers defeated the Southern High Dolphins 44-14. Over at the Ukudu Field, it was Simon Sanchez pulling off the win against the Ukudu Bulldogs 38-6. Sanchez doing what they do best, pounding the ball out on the ground. Two-point conversion good here. Ukudu's lone touchdown of the game came through the air, and in the other game played, it was the Tizen High Titans shutting out the JFK Islanders 14-0. Now for some NFL highlights. These guys raking in millions. Leonard Fournette going in over the top for the touchdown. Big game today from the rookie running back. Play stands. Penalty on the defense decline. Ben Roethlisberger had a nightmare of a game. Big Ben gets picked off here by Telvin Smith after a deflection at the line of scrimmage. Smith blows by the offensive lineman trying to make the tackle. 28-yard return for the pick six. Roethlisberger like what had happened was Big Ben dropping back in the pocket again, looking to go right. Another ball getting knocked away. This time Barry Church with the interception takes it the other way. 51 yards to the house for another pick six. Five on the day for the veteran QB. 312 yards passing, no touchdowns. Jags steamrolling in today's game with their defense. Leonard Fournette, 28 carries, 181 yards and two touchdowns. Fournette cashing in on the 90-yard touchdown run here. Jags improved to 3-2 and two on the season. Steelers also 3-2 and two with today's loss. The Bills lose to the Bengals 20-16. The Jets pick up the win over the Browns. Panthers slip by the Lions 27-24. The Colts beat the 49ers 26-23. Titans lose to the Dolphins 16-10. Chargers winners over the Giants 27-22. Eagles big winners over the Cards 34-7. Jaguars steal the game against the Steelers 30-9. Ravens over the Raiders. Seahawks get by the Rams and the Packers come from behind to beat the Cowboys 35-31. And in the last game, it was the Chiefs beating the Texans 42-34.